been talk amongst the gods. That you are dragon. Such a thing. If we kill the dragon once, we can do it again. With your help, of course. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. Grey beards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rungar, don't be so hard on Avenue. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl. 
and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Lead the way. If you need potions, you should try Arcadia's Cauldron. Couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend, could you? What do you need?
I worry about the other settlements in the whole world.
right behind you. Lead on. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Ha! Huh. Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. You picked a bad time to get lost. <laughs> Song of the Delano. Editor's note. Volumes 1 to 6 are taken from the so-called Riemann Manuscript, located in the Imperial Library. It is a transcription of older fragments collected by an unknown scholar of the early Second Era. Beyond this, little is known of the original sources of these fragments, some of which appear to be from the same period, perhaps even from the same manuscript. But as no scholarly consensus yet exists on dating these six fragments, no opinions will be offered here. Delano drove the sorcerer armies past the Nibin, or the Nibin, I'm gonna call it Nibin, claiming all the eastern lands for the rebellion of the Daravania, Daravania, and Rhine. And Ryan had to send her rain to wash the blood from the villages and forts that no longer flew allied banners for the armies of men needed to make camps of them as they went forward. And he broke the doors open for the prisoners of the Vataki? I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry for that with the slave queen flying on Moor House above them, and the men called her Al-Esh for the first time. He entered the gate at her to win back the hands of the thousand strong of Sidor, a tribe now unknown but famous in those days, which the Aelids had stolen in the night. Two thousand hands that he brought back in a wagon made of demon bone whose wheels trail the sound of women when ill at heart. Text lost. And after the first dog roam which consolidated the northern holdings of, for the men of Kriath he stood with white hair gone brown with elf blood at the bridge of Helden, where Derf's falconers had sent for the Nords, and they, looking at him, said that Shore had returned, but he spat at their feet for profounding that name. Profaning that name. He led them anyway into the heart of the hinterland west to drive the Aelids inward towards the tower of white gold a slow retreating circle that could not understand the power of man's sudden liberty and what lurid idea that brought and what fury <laughs> idea that brought his mace crushed the thunder ma the thunder knacks that umaril sent as barriers on the rebellions or as harriers on the rebellion's long march back south and east and carried Mori House breath of Rhine or Kine to I don't know what this letter is, it's a three <laughs> The Clever Cunning The Clever Cunning Man 
a needy with a Keptu name, I don't know, for healing. When the bill, when the bull had fallen to a valley, to a valley of bird beaks, and of course, of the, at the council of skiffs, where all the Darvanians' armies and all of the Nords shook with fear at the storming of the white gold, so much so that the Al Esh herself counseled delay. Belinal grew furious and made names of Umaril and made names of what cowards he thought he saw around him and then made for the tower by himself, for Delinal offered acted without thought. <laughs>